concerned, the town manager tells us getting this license revoked is a last resort, but he says it's a decision the town is now forced to do. Murray's Auto Recycling in Londonderry is the talk of the town once again. There's uh, been a lot of controversy uh, over the years around this junkyard. The building holds waste oil containers, antifreeze, and different types of fluids. In the back sits hundreds of crushed cars stacked on top of each other. The town manager tells us each year the town has to renew the owner's license to operate, but he says it can be a struggle. It's ended up in court a number of times. And uh, it has gotten its license renewed uh, almost every year. And the license was renewed again this year, but under two conditions. We renewed the license again this year with the stipulations that he can't stack the cars above the fence and had to have a certain amount of fencing around the junkyard. But the owner did not comply, and now the town has filed the petition in Superior Court to revoke the license. We notified his attorney uh, a couple of days ago that we were petitioning Superior Court. That happened one day before a fire destroyed part of the business. On Thursday, a fire ripped through a barn and several cars in the back of the property. And to make matters worse, a smoldering car reignited the fire early Friday morning. It's always a challenge when you respond to a fire like this, just because of the the fire is embedded deep and it's just labor intensive using heavy equipment to break it up and get to the seat of the fire. Now the property sits badly burned, no word on what the owner is going to do. Smith tells us the process to revoke the license could take months, even a year. He says the town is still willing to work with the owner if he's willing to comply. It behooves all of us to try to work it out uh, so that he is in compliance and can continue to operate the junkyard. Smith tells us there's been no response from the owner to the town at this point. We also reached out to the owner today, and he says no comment. Reporting live in Londonderry, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.